How's it going folks? Today we're going over a tutorial on how to install the Monster Cat Visualizer Rain Meter skin by Marco Pixel. As you can see on my screen right now, this is a Monster Cat style visualizer reacting directly to my Spotify music, including showing the album artwork and the title details. In order to do this, you're first going to need the program called Rain Meter. You can find that link down in the description. For this tutorial, we're going to be using the 4.3.1 final release of Rain Meter, but you can use further updates in the future. Standard installation is fine. Select where you want it to go. Default is fine. Since I already have Rain Meter installed, I'm not going to fully install it again. As you can see, Rain Meter in the bottom right hand corner. Once you finish installing Rain Meter, you're now going to go to Marco Pixel's page on DeviantArt. This is where we'll actually download the skin from. You'll find this link in the description. Once you come to this link, you'll come down to the download page, which is the GitHub. Inside of here, under Assets, you're going to click on the monstercat.visualizer.4.rainmeter. This version that we're using is the 2.1 skin. You'll also want to leave this page open as we'll need it later to connect Spotify. On here is the skin itself, along with all the different engines that it uses to completely work. I already have this entire skin installed, so I'm not going to reinstall the individual pieces for it. Quick disclaimer. If your antivirus detects chameleon.dll to be a virus, that's because there are actually chameleon viruses out there. In this instance, however, it's actually just used to change the color of the text. If you don't want to change the color of the text, you don't need to install that portion of the skin. So you'll now be introduced with the setup. As I'm reinstalling the skin fresh right for you, you'll notice that my visualizer looks like the default version now. So you're gonna wanna hit setup, which is gonna take you to the general page. We're first gonna show you how the different settings work and then we'll set up the integration with Spotify. So you have the visualizer scale, which is how big the visualizer itself is, along with the song scale down below. You can change the height, so that's how high the bars will go up. Change the rotation angle, um, so 90 degrees, 180. The progress bar is shown directly underneath the bars down there. Once I integrate that, you'll be able to skip around right in the visualizer itself. Rest is information about the song info, and if you wanted to hide the skin automatically when Spotify is not running, or whatever music player you use. Um, and then ignore sound, so that way it doesn't pick up on the mic. Uh, Discord calls or stuff like that. Next, we're going to show you how to integrate this with Spotify. We're going to select the now playing, and you'll see that since my program is already set up, you'll see the information right away. We're now going to get your side of it set up. So we're going to go back to the GitHub page and under the change log, we're going to look on the first link that's for the web now playing function. In order for this to work, however, you need to make sure that you have the actual Spotify executable and not the Windows Store app for Spotify. So check the link in the description to download the actual official Windows Spotify and not the application version. Next, we're going to do the actual integration portion. In order to do this, we need to use PowerShell. You can do this by opening up the run prompt by doing Windows logo key on your keyboard and the R button at the same time. Then type in PowerShell. You'll be greeted with this screen here. Next, we're gonna triple click on this line of code in order to highlight it, and then we're gonna copy that. And now we're gonna paste that into PowerShell by either right clicking or doing Control V and then entering. This is now going to download the API from GitHub, which will allow the song information to be passed to the actual Spotify executable. Next step, you'll want to enter the next line. So we'll paste that and enter it. So I actually have this already installed, so mine's going to look a little bit different, but this is still the process that you're going to do in order to have it to work. Next line of code, which will initialize the application. that all worked there. Since I already have it, it says already in list. This next one here, so copy and paste that. Applies all the new configuration. And then finally, it's gonna do a backup and apply. So that way it's gonna back up these settings and keep it applied so that whenever you use this visualizer for the future, it works. You don't need to change anything. It'll all be set up. Spotify will automatically restart now and it should be able to work immediately. And then you'll just want to make sure that you have the now playing um, or whichever media player you plan on using with it. But the now playing is how you'll integrate it with Spotify. 
And you'll see these different pieces here are completely independent of each other. So you can modify this visualizer however you want. Next up is the bar width. So that's how large those actual white bars are width-wise. The gap between those bars, which is those little spaces right there. And the bar, and then the bar count is just how many actual bars are there. The sensitivity is how much they will react depending on how much sound is introduced. So putting that higher will make them react more, putting it lower will make them react less. What's cool about this feature is that you can now individually set that volume of the music. So if I turn this down here, you'll see that it gets quieter on there. But if I increase the sensitivity, then it'll still look the same, even though it's now actually quieter. Next up, um, let's turn that back to normal. I'll set this back to normal as well. Next up is the smoothing level. So that's just how smooth it goes. If it's, if it's lower, it reacts faster. If it's higher, it goes smoother. So I'm gonna keep that at a four. Next up is the multiplier, which is similar to the sensitivity setup that we just did. But essentially, if you have a song that just doesn't really look like, right, you can change how much the visualizer re will react to it. It's a multiplier, effectively. Next up, we have the sound resolution. So I have a pretty beefy PC, so I have this turned up a bit. It recommends between 1024 and 512 if you have a lesser one. But basically, that's just how the visualizer processes the sound coming in. Next up is that you can change colors. So you can change the actual color of the skin. Um, or you can change the text. My text color doesn't work for some reason. I might just not have installed something correctly originally, but yours may work, it may not. Dynamic coloring, we'll actually change it based off of the genre. However, Spotify doesn't use genre tags, so it won't work with Spotify. But you can also do the cover, which takes cover accents. Um, or you can do windows, which takes whatever your actual windows accent is. I personally will probably just leave it on um, off just to have the white, because that's actually how the visualizer is now. There's no longer genre colors. Next couple of things are things like the drop shadow, which is actually put a shadow behind the bars and the text itself and the album artwork, it looks like. You can replace the album artwork with the actual Monster Cat logo if you wanted to. And then finally, you can add a text border around the text. The text border does, isn't it? <laughs> so the final part of this tutorial is going to actually show you a couple different things about Rain Meter and how you can kind of move this visualizer around and change it, get rid of things, just kind of do whatever you want with it. Just for the sake of it, I'll throw it down over here real quick so you can see it. Clips to the edges. Stick it back here, why not? I don't know. Oh, and there is uh, there's technically an invisible box there. So you gotta just click it right. And there. This is a voiceover, so I'm literally just commenting what I did yesterday. <laughs> so you can right click and hit unload skin. That'll actually remove portions of the skin. Um, so now I just have the visualizer itself. Um, and in order to bring that back, you can either right click on the visualizer itself, or you can come down to rain meter, right click there, Go to skins, find the monster cat visualizer, then we're gonna go to settings. Um, and just for the fun of it, you can do crazy stuff. So I could set this rotation angle all the way to the side if I wanted to, and stick it over there. I think it looks a little bit different personally since I'm so used to the visualizer being regular side, but yeah. Um, do you remember the hide skin when media player is not running features? So if you close Spotify, it can go away. But yeah, right click. Go to skins, then let's go to, you have a background, so to play a black background, and song information. So there's my artist and title back, or I can click on the visualizer itself. Let's reset this back to normal real quick. Then, right click on that visualizer, and bring back the cover. And then there's the little buttons on the actual cover itself. And remember that you can also click that progress bar underneath the bars to move stuff around. Um, move the song position around, I should say. You can right click to remove the settings by unloading the skin. There's a progress bar. I knew I mentioned it somewhere. But yeah, like I said, I recorded this yesterday. 
It's been three years since I've done a tutorial, so I'm still just getting back into the groove of this. Skipping things around. Playing fun songs. Um, in settings, as a quick note, you can change if you want this to be above or below other items. Just if you want to keep it going. And then, oh, and finally, you can change your audio device. So if you have speakers and headphones and everything else, you can pick what you want to do. Uh, and that's new to this one. That's very nice that they added that. So unload those settings. And you're just about set. Hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I had a ton of fun making it. So thanks again for sticking around and watching this whole thing through. If it helped you, please leave a like. It helps this channel out a lot. Also, feel free to subscribe if you're interested in more uh, voice acting, voiceover, or tutorial-related videos. If you need me to help out for any voice acting or voiceover projects, feel free to reach out in the comments. I'm sure I'd be able to help you out in some way, shape, or form. I'm sure it's high noon somewhere in the world.